Today we're going to make some chicken acne and for that you'll need um, sliced onions and chilli to taste if you want chilli, some ginger garlic paste, some chicken, some ghee, some oil and our masalas which are bay leaves, cardamom, cinnamon, salt, chilli, dhania, haldi, curry, zira and garam masala. All ingredient quantities will be listed down in the description box. In a clean dry pan with the heat off, we're going to add in the chilli and onions, the ginger garlic paste, some oil, about two tablespoons, some ghee, about two tablespoons as well. And the cardamom, cinnamon, bay leaves and all the salt. Got the heat on medium to low. And all you're going to do is just give it a quick mix and put the lid on it and let the ghee melt and leave that for about five minutes. In about five minutes, you give it a stir. All that ghee's melted and the onions are starting to soften. What we're going to do is add a little bit of water. just so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and you're going to let this cook for another 10-15 minutes coming back in between adding water if it needs to just in case it sticks or until all your onions have um, dissolved in about 10 minutes just going to give it a stir add a bit of water so it doesn't stick to the bottom anymore And in another 10 minutes, all the onions would have softened, then we can add our spices. So it's been about 10 minutes, and what we're going to do is we're going to just help the onions by just mashing them with a potato masher. Doesn't need a lot because they're quite soft already. Then what we're going to do is add in our chicken. And give that a good stir just so all the onions get coated put a lid on it and leave it for another 10 minutes to cook it's been about 15 minutes since we last checked the chicken you can see the chicken's turned white so now it's time to add in all our spices all of them together. Give that a good mix. And we're going to let this cook for another 10 minutes and then the chicken should be fully cooked through and our curry for our acne should be ready. So it's been about 10 minutes since we last checked the chicken. Now it's cooked. What you need to do is check the salt because the salt is what's going to um, flavour the rest of the rice. So check the salt. If the salt's fine, just switch the heat off. And our curry for our achni is done. So the curry for the achni is ready. Now we're going to move on to the achni. So for that, we've put a pan on heat here. And for the achni, you'll need some ghee and 600 grams of basmati rice. First, we're going to put in our ghee. All quantities will be listed in the description box below. Let that ghee melt. And I've already washed and drained this rice, so I'm just going to put it straight in. Make sure the heat is on medium because we don't want to burn the rice, we just want to fry it a little bit. Sit around the and 
and let that fry for about five minutes. It's been about two, three minutes. Now what we're gonna do is add in the water. We're gonna add enough boiling water just to cover all of the rice and chicken. Just enough to cover. Pushing all the rice and all the chicken into the water. Give it a good mix. Put it on medium heat. And put the lid on and let that boil for about five minutes before you check it and stir it. So it's been about five minutes and most of the water has dried up. What we're gonna do is quickly give that a mix through. Separate all the rice. Spread it out, put the lid on it, and it should be done in about 10 minutes. About 8 to 10 minutes, and the rice looks like it's cooked. Just going to fluff it with my spoon. If you find that your rice isn't cooked, you could always put it into your oven on the lowest heat for about 5-10 minutes, and it should cook all the rice through. But ours is ready now, so I'm going to switch off the heat and serve it up. Our acne is now ready. Please remember to subscribe and leave a comment down below of recipes you want to see next. Thank you.